Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. We are now going to focus on the third chakra which is the solar plexus chakra and it's located just a little bit above your belly button. Its color is yellow and the element is fire. The energy of this chakra helps bring your plans into action so it turns your plans into reality. The chakra governs the digestive system and all organs that are located in the abdominal area. Today's practice will be focused on the abdomen. We will be contracting, stretching, twisting, thus stimulating the energy in this area. So get into something comfortable and let's get on the mat. So sit comfortably on the floor either in a cross-legged position or maybe sitting on your heels. If this is not a very comfortable position for you, use a cushion, a pillow, anything underneath your seat to help you lengthen the lower back and bring the knees lower than your hip bones. Relax your shoulders. Relax your face. You can even close the eyes if that feels good. And just take a couple of breaths following your inhale and exhale just taking a moment here to ground to bring our attention into the body and leave the outer world behind Now I'm going to show you a mudra, a hand gesture, which activates the solar plexus area, also the digestive system. It's very simple. You have to touch your thumb, index and ring finger. The other two fingers should be relatively relaxed. So let's do this with both hands. Allow the shoulders to be relaxed and easy. And bring your attention to the area just a couple of inches above the belly button. Imagine there is a bright yellow circle of light. Bright, beautiful yellow. Spinning. Expanding with each inhale you take. Sending, vibrating, bright, clear energy all around it. A sensation of warmth. Maybe gentle tingling. Stay here for a few more moments, focusing on the center of your power, your identity. The center of self-esteem and confidence, the center of fire and action. slowly come back to the room open the eyes and let's move on to all fours most of the practice today will be down on the floor so make sure you've got enough space no furniture around and here we're going to press the floor Pull the belly up towards the spine and very gently round the lower back. Good. Contracting the belly in towards the spine. Let's bring the right leg up and then turn your bicep forwards. 
keeping your leg up keeping your abdomen engaged we're going to bend the elbows backwards and try to touch the floor with your nose and then push yourself back up strong body here exhale come down inhale up core engaged last one and up then the next exhale you're gonna bend the knee and bring it over towards your nose or your forehead round the upper back pull the belly in inhale stretch lengthen look up but keep that core engaged exhale round push the floor and on your next inhale again stretch lengthen and last one inhale exhale contract and we're going to stay here just for three breaths inhale exhale bring that knee as high as you can two more last one and take an inhale lean to the left bring your right hand off the floor maybe help your right foot to step forwards and come into a low lunge if you don't reach the floor here use some heights you can use books or yoga blocks lengthen the spine and roll the shoulders back let's leave the left palm down on the floor quite close to your right foot and swivel the chest open extending the right arm up looking towards your thumb if it's comfortable for the neck if not you can look down on your next inhale this is optional tuck the back toe and lift the back knee off the floor now let's take an inhale and lengthen that spine and on your exhale imagine your belly button showing above your right thigh coming into a twist take another inhale lengthen the spine another exhale twist contract that belly one last time inhaling exhaling and let's bring the right hand down on the floor good you should be feeling your belly now the fire in your belly now we're going to move the right foot a little back just maybe walk it heel toe heel toe it until you turn on the outer edge of your left leg now we are preparing for a side plank so once you feel steady engage your core and lift the top arm again now option to stay here keep pushing the floor with both feet keep sending the hips up or maybe you can slowly bring the foot on your thigh for a tree pose or simply bring the leg next to the bottom leg or in front for better support last breath here really push those hips up engage the core open the chest and exhale let's come to a plank inhale move a little forward so your shoulders are over your wrists tuck the tail engage the core and exhale knees chest chin on the floor inhale cobra lengthen that belly that we've been contracting until now roll the shoulders back keep your hips on the floor open your feet a little wider to help you stay in the pose just another breath and exhale bring the feet together and come in child's pose for three breaths of rest relax your forehead on the ground feel your heartbeat And bring your attention to the area of the solar plexus and relax 
Relax the forehead down on the floor just for a few breaths. Bring your attention to the area of the solar plexus. And on your next inhale, let's come back up and repeat on the other leg. So check that your hands are under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Pull the belly, engage the core, round the lower back and inhale, lift the left leg up. Keeping the core engaged, don't drop the belly down. Start bending the elbows and see if you can touch the floor with your nose. Two more, exhaling down, elbows are tracking backwards, just like in Chaturanga, last one. And on your next exhale, we're going to round the back, bring the knee towards your nose, and exhale, inhale, stretch. And exhale, round the back, push the floor. Inhale, stretch the belly, look up. Exhale, contract the belly. Last one, inhale, open the shoulders, look forwards. And exhale, knee in, bring it as high as you can. We're gonna stay for three. Keep breathing, relax the face two last one and on your next inhale lean towards your right hand you can cup your left fingers and either with the help of the hand or without step your left leg forwards coming to a low lunge now here very important that both hands and the left foot are in one line Grab your blocks or books if you need them. We're moving on to our twist and side plank sequence. Right hand next to your left foot. Left arm up, open the chest, bring the shoulder blades together, gazing up towards your thumb or down if it's not comfortable. Inhale, lift the back knee off the floor. This is optional. So do the same you did on the other side. Take an inhale, Lengthen the back leg, lengthen through the crown, exhale, belly in, twist, belly over your thigh, two more, inhaling, belly in, twist, last one, inhale, lengthen that body, exhale, all the air out, bring it out of your body, and exhale, release the left hand down. Now, preparation for our side plank. So right hand stays fully on the floor. You can cup your left hand and slowly walk your left foot back towards the middle of your body. Now here, maybe keep that hand down if you can't keep the balance, but lift your hips off the floor. If you can, stretch the left arm up, engaging the core. Push the outer edge of your back leg into the floor and see if slowly you can bring that leg up, either in tree or simply above the other leg. Lengthen the spine, inhale. Engage the belly on an exhale. One more. And then slowly coming into plank. One inhale, lengthen the body. Shoulders over your wrists. Exhale, knees, chest and chin, elbows tracking backwards. Inhale, coming in cobra. Open your feet a little wider. Bend the elbows, send the chest through. Keep breathing and feel the nice stretch in your abdomen. One more breath and exhale. Let's come to our little rest, feet together. Child's pose. Come back to your breath. Good 
Good. Good. And let's slowly come out of the pose and come sit on your heels. And after we've done so many contractions in the abdominal area, we now would like to lengthen the belly. So let's prepare for a camel pose. Come up on your knees and make sure they're directly underneath your hip bones and your shins are in line with your knees. Let's place the hands on the lower back, fingers pointing down and squeeze your elbows towards one another. Roll the shoulders back and down and shoulder blades also moving towards one another. Now very important here in order to protect your lower back is to tuck the tail under, engage the core, inhale, lengthen the spine and only then push the hips forwards and arch back. Now here you have the option to continue looking forwards or if it's okay for your neck, look backwards. Continue to squeeze the elbows towards one another, lengthen the spine and try not to crunch into your lower back. Keep that tail tucked under. Take another inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, push the hips forwards and then slowly let's come out of the pose and go into a counter pose. So the top of the head is in front of your knees. That's not the forehead, not the back, the top of the head. Grab your heels and on your next inhale, lift your hips. So your hips needs to be a sufficient height so that your arms are stretched almost fully straight and focus on the space between your shoulder blades. Inhale, expanding that space. Exhale, belly button in. Let's take two more. One last breath here and exhale. Let's come all the way up and come into a comfortable cross-legged position. Good. Find a comfortable position and let's bring the left arm down on the floor beside your left buttock. Inhale, stretch the opposite arm up towards the sky and then maybe walking your left fingertips further forwards, bend over and take a few breaths into the right side of the body. Feel your rib cage expanding, especially the right side of the rib cage on every inhale keeping your right buttock down the whole time. One last breath, all the way to your fingertips. Open the armpits, look up. And on the following inhalation, we're going to come up and repeat on the other side. So right palm down, lengthen the left arm. You might want to walk your right fingers even further. Bend the supporting arm elbow. Maybe it can touch the floor, but even if it doesn't, that's fine. Keep the top shoulder open. Keeping the left buttock down on the floor. Take another inhale, lengthen through your left fingertips. And on your next inhale, slowly come back up. Good. And now let's finish with the breath of fire. Again, it's focused on the abdominal area. It stokes the fire in your digestive system, but also clears your skull. It's called 
skull shining breath focuses the mind and prepares it for mental work or meditation. So we'll do two rounds of 30. Do as many as you can, rest in between if you're not familiar with the practice. So we are breathing through the nose. Inhale happens naturally. On the exhale, we forcefully pump the belly back towards your spine. So it's almost as if you're trying to slam your belly towards your spine. Really forceful breath out. Then you'll see that the inhalation happens, just happens naturally. You don't need to worry about it. The whole time, try to keep entire body relax, lengthen the spine, face should be relaxed and without squeezing any facial muscles. If you need to clear your nose before you do this exercise, go and do it. Make sure that the entire length of the breath work, you have your spine erect and your face relaxed. Very often people tend to squeeze the muscles when they exhale. Try and keep it relaxed. So, two rounds of 30. If you can do just one, that's fine. Let's take a deep inhale through the nose. And a complete full exhale through the mouth. One more like this. Inhale into the belly, into the chest, all the way to the clavicle bone. And then exhale, push all the air out from the chest and from the belly. And now we start 30. One breath per second. Bumping the belly strongly backwards, strongly backwards. Five more. Come back to your natural breath, relax the face. Feel the sensations in the body. During this breath, we pump in a lot of oxygen into the blood and we expel a lot of carbon dioxide. That means you're left with too much oxygen and hence you feel tingling, you feel maybe a little faint, you feel a bit lightheaded, but that's okay. Your blood is rich in oxygen. Let's do the second round. Let's prepare with two deep inhales and exhales through the nose. Expanding everything up to the clavicle bones, exhale everything out. Pull the belly in. One more like this. Everything out. 30 breaths, one beat per second. Slam the belly back. Forceful exhale, inhale happens naturally. Good. Ten more. Give it all you've got. Ten. And relax. Let's take a deep inhale. And hold it there. with the body and any sensations that you might be feeling. Enjoy the lightness, the easiness. And when you can 
can no longer hold your inhale, fully exhale all the air out, everything out, down to the belly and hold the breath out. Lift the pelvic floor, keep the belly in and bring the chin in, holding the breath out for as long as you can. Your body's got so much oxygen. The mind might be fooling you that you need to inhale, but go past that first urge. See if you can hold a little longer. And when you need to inhale, release the pelvic floor, the belly and the chin. Inhale slowly, smoothly. Keep your face relaxed. Return to your natural breath. And bring your focus to your third eye. If you wish here, you can do the Rudra Mudra connecting your thumb, index and ring finger. Turning the palm upward. Stay here for a few moments, enjoying the lightness in the body and the stillness in the mind. See that circle, a shining yellow golden light in the area just above your belly. Feel that energy of power. Feel the fire. The confidence and strength that will help you deal with all challenges in life. So I'll leave you here, dear yogis. If you'd like to continue with your meditation, please do so. I thank you very much for joining me again, and I hope you enjoyed it. Until the next time, namaste.